Good morning, student. Today I could not welcome you to my class, and we are going to do a new lesson that is T from Assam. So, student, this is the third part of the uh, chapter Glimpses of India. So, this we, first part we have done a baker from Goa. Second, we have done Cork, written by Lokesh Abral. T from a baker from Goa was written by Lucilio Rodriguez. And now we are going to do the third part of Glimpses of India, that is chapter number 7. And the name of the topic is Tea from India by Arup Kumar Datta. So, I would like to discuss you something about the author. Arup Kumar Datta was born in 1946 at Zorhat in Assam. So, children, this is written by... Arup Kumar Datta. The whole lesson, a T from Assam is written by Arup Kumar Datta. Arup Kumar Datta. He was born in 1946 as Zorhat in Assam. He was educated at Savo and at Delhi University. He served as a profession in English. He served as a professor, professor in English for many years at JB College, Zorhat in Assam. His published work, The Adventures Story, so still these were his published work, The Adventure his Stories in 1978. So this was this was the the right which I am writing this uh, his, this is his major work, the Brahmaputra. I think we all know that Brahmaputra flows in Assam only, and he was from Assam, Assam. So this was published in two thousand and one. So he became famous uh, by this two uh, thing which he has written have been translated into many foreign languages so now this two um, things which he has written children it was it has become so popular that it was published in many foreign languages also now I would like to tell you the theme of the story tea from Assam so in tea from Assam Arup Kumar Datta describes how popular tea has become as a beverage in the world. Okay, how far tea has become in the world. Okay, as a beverage. So children, tea from Assam is a very nice uh, chapter related with tea. It's very common beverages. We all have tea in the morning and the evening. If some guests come, then also we serve tea. So tea is very popular in India. And we all know there are a lot of tea uh, lovers are there who drinks uh, so many types of tea like uh, tea with milk, tea without milk, lemon tea, green tea, etc. So, in Tea from Assam, Anup Kumar Datta described how popular tea has become as a beverage in the world. Over 80 crore cups of tea are drunk every day throughout the world. It shows the increasing, increasing popularity of tea. The lesson gives a graphic description of the sea of 10 bushes. Is stretching as far as eyes can go in Assam. So, student, whenever you have chance to go to Assam, just see the beautiful tea gardens over there. The plucking of the newly sprouted leaves by groups of tea pluckers with bamboo basket on their backs are vividly described in the lesson. Okay, so now I would be telling you about the uh, children short summary and the main points of the chapter so for my first point is tea is very popular
सो वंस अगेन आई रिपीट माई वर्ड टी इज वेरी पॉपुलर बीवरेज इज इन दर्ल्ड एट एवरी प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ रेलवे स्टेशन यू कैन हियर वेंड एंड से चाय गर्म चाय सोशल एंड वेरी कॉमन सीनारियो इन इंडियन स्टेशन यू कैन सी वेंडर शाउटिंग ओके चाय गर्म चाय सो इन हिंदी टी इज नोन एज चाय वेरी कॉमन एंड फेवरेट वर्ड्स ऑफ ऑल द इंडियन सीयर यू कैन फाइंड एवरी वन इन द कंपार्टमेंट सिपिंग द स्ट्रीम ऑफ सिटिंग द स्टीम ऑफ हॉट टी ओके सो वेन एवर इन द मॉर्निंग और इवनिंग स्पेशली इट्स अ वेरी कॉमन साइड इन द कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ ए ट्रे पीपुल बाइंग एंड सिपिंग द स्टीम हॉट टी ओवर एटी क्रोर्स कप्स ऑफ टी आर ड्रंक एवरी डे थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड सो थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड चिल्ड्रन एटी करोड़ टी कप्स आर यूज एवरी डे लोड ऑफ टी लवर्स आर देयर नाउ माई सेकेंड पॉइंट इज टी प्लांटेशन okay my second point is tea plantation it was green green everywhere rajveer had never seen so much greenery before so children rajveer was coming uh, in a train with his friend and his friend was leaving in assam so for the first time he had seen that beautiful beautiful green green uh, lush green color gardens of tea everywhere rajveer had never seen so much greenery before the green paddy fields gave way to tea bushes small tea bushes stretched as far as the eyes could see amid the tall sturdy shady trees there were rows of tea bushes pranjal was born and brought up on the plantation so he was not excited assam has the largest concentration of tea plantation in the whole world now origin of tea now my third point is origin of tea okay no one really knows who discovered tea one chinese emperor had always boiled water before drinking it so children there are a lot of stories related with tea but one story is very popular and that is about china and um, one of the chinese emperor so now i will discuss that story to you one chinese emperor had always boiled water before drinking it a few leaves of the twigs burning under the pot fell into the water it gives it a delicious flavor so good luck or bad luck when the water was being boiled few uh, twigs burning under the pot fell into the water and it gave a delicious flavor it is said they were tea leaves according to an indian legend bodhi dham an ancient buddhi asked to cut off his eyelids because he felt sleepy during meditation 10 tea plants grew out of his eyelids so children one another legend is very famous that one buddhist person he was doing meditation and he could not he was feeling sleepy so he cut his eyelids and children his few of his angry uh, and children he cut off his eyelids because he felt sleepy during meditation 10 tree plants grew out of his eyelids the leaves of tree banished sleep tea was first drunk in china about 2700 bc the world like chai and chini are from chinese language so children this chai and chini which is very popular in chinese language it is now in very popular in india also especially the word chai tea came to europe only in the 16th century it was drunk more as medicine than as beverage now my fourth point is new sprouted leaves tea is really so children acres upon acres of tea bushes were spread over the slopes they were all pruned to the same height groups of tea pluckers with bamboo baskets on their backs 
were plucking the newly sprouted leaves. A tractor was pulling, a tractor was pulling, a traitor loads of leaves. Rajvir asked if it was the second flush of the sprouting period. It lasts from May to July and yields the best tea. So children, these were the main points and the summary. And now I am going to discuss the main points of the story. <clears throat> so tea is really a very popular village, um, beverage in India. You can hear vendors shouting chai, garam chai at every railway station or platform. More than 80 crores of cup of tea are drunk every day throughout the world. It was green, green everywhere when Raj and Rajvir had never seen so much greenery before. The landscape change and tea bushes took the place of green paddy fields. A sea of tea bushes stretched as far as the eye could go. Assam has the largest concentration of plantation in the world. Assam has the largest concentration of plantation in the world. No one really knows who discovered tea. One Chinese legend said that a few leaves of the twigs burning under the pot fell into the boiling water. One Chinese legend said that a few leaves of the twigs burning under the pot fell into the boiling water. The leaves gave it a delicious flavor. They were tea leaves. Words like chai and chini are from Chinese language. According to an Indian legend, an ancient Buddhist ascetic cut off his eyelids because he felt sleepy during meditation. Tea plants, ten tea plants grew out of the of his eyelids. Rajvi saw acre upon acre of tea bushes and nearly all of them were neatly pruned to the same height. Group of tea pluckers with bamboo basket on their backs were plucking newly sprouted leaves. A tractor was pulling a trailer load of leaves. Rajvi asked Pranjal's father if it was the second flush or sprouting period. The sprouting period lasts from May to July and this period yields the best tree. Now there are two main characters in the story. One is Rajveer and the other is Pranjal. Okay, Pranjal was born and brought up on a tea plantation. He was from Assam only. He studied with Rajveer in Delhi. His father was the manager of a tea garden in Upper Assam. He invited Rajveer to visit his home and the Dekhai by a tea estate during summer vacation. He was an ardent fan of detective stories. Rajveer, he was a youngster and classmates of Pranjal in Delhi. He was excited to visit tea estate in Assam. He was invited there by Pranjal to spend summer vacation. He was an ardent fan of detective story. He enjoyed seeing magnificent view of tea bushes in Assam. His knowledge about tea and his history was profound. He had done a lot of reading about tea. He even surprised Pranjal's father with his in-depth knowledge of the subject. So children, uh, children, this was the end of the main points and the summary and now we are coming to I'm going to read and explain the lesson okay so please take out your book and open to page number 94 okay so I'm going to do the explanation reading and explanation of the lesson okay now so chapter part 3 from glimpses of India page number 94 and this is T from Assam Pranjal, a youngster from Assam, is Rajveer's classmate at school in Delhi. Pranjal's father is the manager of a tea garden in Upper Assam and Pranjal has invited Rajveer to visit his home during the summer vacation. Chai Garam, Garam Chai, a vendor called out in a high-pitched voice. He came up to their window and asked, Chai Sahab. So children, they were Pranjal. He was a youngster from Assam, and Rajveer was his classmate in school at Delhi. 
and Pranjal father, he was the manager of a tea garden in Upper Assam and Pranjal has invited Rajveer to visit his home during the summer vacation. So now children, they were sitting in a train and one of the vendor was shouting, Chai Garam Garam Chai, a vendor called out in a high pitched voice. Okay, so children vendor, the person who sell the things, okay. Uh, there's you no know, fixed uh, shop for, for them. So he came up to the window and asked Chai Sahab, give us two cups, Pranjal said. They sipped the steaming hot liquid. Almost everyone in their compartment was drinking tea too. Do you know that over 80 crore cups of tea are drunk every day throughout the world, Rajvir says. Now, children, they have bought two cups of tea. Um, now they were sipping the steaming hot liquid almost everyone in their compartment was drinking tea too now Rajveer said do you know that over 80 crore cups of tea are drunk every day throughout the world view explained Pranjal tea really is very popular the train pulled out of the station Pranjal buried his nose in his detective book again Rajveer too was an ardent fan of detective story but at the moment he was keener on looking at the beautiful scenery. It was green green everywhere. Rajveer had never seen so much green tree before. Then the soft green paddy fields gave way to tea bushes. It was a magnificent view. What is the meaning of magnificent? Grand. Okay. What is the meaning of magnificent here? Grand. So uh, tea really is very popular. The train pulled out of the station. Pranjal buried his nose in his detective book again. Rajiv too was an ardent fan of detective story. Okay. So children, what did Rajveer said that 80 crore cup of free are drunk every um, day throughout the world. View, explained Pranjal. Tea really is very popular. And what did he told? He told tea really is very popular. The train pulled out of the station. Pranjal buried his nose in his detective book. Again, Rajveer too was an ardent fan of detective stories. But at the moment, he was keener on looking at the beautiful scenery. So, Rajveer, he was an ardent fan of detective story. Alright. And Rajveer too was an ardent fan of detective story but at the moment he was keener on looking at the beautiful scenery. It was green green everywhere. Rajveer had never seen so much greenery before. Now finally they from Delhi they have almost reached to Assam and Rajveer had never seen so much greenery before. He was very much excited. Then the soft green paddy fields gave way to the bushes. It was a magnificent view against the backdrop of densely wooded hills, a sea of tea bushes stretched as far as the eye could see. Beautiful, grand view was seen and witnessed by Rajveer. Against the backdrop, backdrop means background. Against the background, of densely wooded hills, a sea of tea bushes stretched as far as the eyes could see. Dwarfing the tiny tea plants were tall, sturdy, shade tree and amidst the orderly rows of bushes, busily moved doll-like figures. In the distance was an ugly building with the smoke billowing out of tall chimneys. Densely is thick, 
wooded is full of forest so you can write densely is thick wooded is then wood means a small forest and wooded is full of forest write down the word meaning okay wooded means full of forest densely means thick backdrop means background magnificent means grand then dwarfing is dominating okay so now let me explain children hey a tree gardener rajveer ex cried excitedly pranjal who had been born and brought up on a plantation did not share rajveer excitement because that thing was very common from for him it was not a, a new thing for him now oh this is a tea country now he said assam has the largest concentration no we were here my god here so it was magnificent view children page number 94 the last paragraph i'm reading it was a magnificent view against a backdrop of densely wooded hills of sea of tea so beautiful view beautiful grand view okay of a thickly hills which were full of forest you can see a sea of tea bushes that means lot and lot of tea bushes were there it stretched as far as the i could see as far as his eye could see what did he see he saw the beautiful uh, children plants of the tea they were tall sturdy shade tree and amidst the orderly rows of bushes sturdy is strong okay so drafting drafting is dominating the tiny tea plants were tall sturdy shade tree and amids amids means among the orderly row of bushes busily moved doll like figures in the distance was an ugly building with smoke billowing out of tall chimney billowing is puffing hey a tea garden rajveer billowing is puffing out of tall chimney so children uh, the sturdy strong plants <coughs> plants were uh, children tall they were covering the tiny protecting the tiny tea plants um rows of bushes busily moved doll like figures in the distance was an ugly building with smoke billowing out of tall chimneys hey a tea garden rajvi is quite excited he pranjal who had been born and brought up on a plantation did not share rajvi's excitement so pranjal he did not share rajvi's excitement oh this is a tree country now he said so rajveer explained this is a tree country that means this is a place which is known for tea only which place children i'm talking of i'm talking of assam now the train has reached assam and he was seeing the beautiful tea gardens which stretch as far as his eyes could see so assam has the largest concentration of plantation in the world you will see enough garden to last you a lifetime I have been reading so as much as I could about tea Rajveer said no one really knows who discovered tea but there are many <coughs> legends what legends so he told them Rajveer told that no one really know who discovered tea but there are many legends what legends well there is a one about the chinese emperor who always boiled water before drinking it one day a few leaves of the twigs burning under the pot fell into the water giving it a delicious flavor it is said they were tea leaves so he started telling a story that once upon a time a chinese emperor was there who always boiled water before drinking 
uh, one day a few leaves of the twigs burning under the pot fell into the water giving it a delicious flavor it is said they were tea leaves tell me and that is coughed pranjal now pranjal was <coughs> very much excited okay so he also wanted to listen to the other the story now let's see what is the other story told by rajveer so he told uh, we have an and an indian legend to buddhi harma an ancient buddhist ascetic so an ancient buddhist uh, ascetic was there ascetic means monk monk chill in the buddhist saint uh, saints uh, were known as monk so he was there okay monk was there and um, children it was this is a very old story he cut off his eyelids because he felt sleepy during meditation so he punished himself by cutting his eye, eyelids and he was feeling sleepy during meditation 10 tea plants grew out of the eyelids now children where his eyelids fell 10 tea plants grew there the leaves of these plants when put in a hot water and drunk banished sleep so children banished is finished so the these plants when put in hot water and drunk banished banished means finished now children many people believe when they feel sleepy that when they will drink a cup of tea their sleep will go they will not feel sleepy so then tea plants grew out of the eyelids the leaves of these plants when put it in a hot water and drunk banish sleep tea was first drunk in china so tea was first drunk in china rajveer added uh, as far back as 2700 bc so children rajveer told that it was in china and that the uh, tea was discovered first in fact words such as tea chai and chini are from chinese so children these words also chai uh, tea chini chini is a word for tea is spoken in china okay so these are words came from china only tea came to europe only in the 16th century and was drunk more uh, as medicine than as beverage now children in europe it was not drunk as beverage it was drunk as uh, what to say medicine the train clattered into marijani station junction the boys collected their luggage and pushed their way to the crowded platform finally children the train has reached its destination um, the train stopped at marijani junction the boys collected their luggage and pushed their way to the crowded platform pranjal parents were waiting for them pranjal parents they came to receive them soon they were driving towards dekhia bari the tea garden managed by prachan father now children they were near the their house was near the tea garden okay so they were his fathers they soon they were driving toward and uh, dekhia bari it was a tea garden managed by pranjal father an hour later the car veered sharply off the main road okay an hour later the car veered okay weird means it was running in a very strange manner in a very um, towards the tea garden and the uh, an hour later the car veered sharply off the main road the crossed a cattle bridge and entered the khabai tea street now children soon they the came from the main road they crossed a cattle bridge and entered the khabai tea street so the what was the name of that tea street the khabai on both side of the gravel road were acres upon acres of tea bushes all neatly prone to the same height so children the what did he saw prune is cut off okay so the, what scenario rajveer had witnessed on both side of the gravel road were acres upon acres of tea bushes tree plants were there all nearly prone to the same height prune means they were cut off they were of the cut it to the same they were cut off into a same height groups of tea pluckers with bamboo basket on their backs wearing plastic aprons were plucking the newly sprouted leaves 
Pranjal father slowed down to allow a tractor pulling a trailer load of tea leaves to pass. Now children, father, Pranjal's father, he slowed down his car to allow a tractor. He was pulling a, the tractor was pulling a load of tea leaves. Um, he passed. This is the second flush or a sprouting period. Now his father told this period when the tree plants are curved are known as the second flush or a sprouting period. Isn't it? Mr. Barua Rajvir asked. Now children Rajvir it seemed it had a lot of good knowledge of team. So he asked his father that this is the second flush or a sprouting period, isn't it? Mr. Barua Rajvir asked to the uh, to his friend's father. It lasts from May to July and is the bed seed, right? Uh, Rajiv Rajvir had a lot of knowledge. He told that it lasts from May to July and yields the best tree. You seem to have done your homework before coming. Pranjal father said in surprise. Now Pranjal father he told you have done your homework. Yes, Mr. Barwa Rajvir admitted, but I hope to learn much more while I am here. He told though I have done, but I want to learn much more about tea from seeing, from asking from you and from seeing. So children, with this, I have completed this lesson and in my next class, children, we will be doing the question and answer. With this, I conclude my video here. Thank you and have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye.